In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Brother L2640 DW printer using a USB cable with your computer. So let's get started right away. First of all, this printer does not come with such a cable in the box. You'll have to purchase one separately. I'll put links in the description if you want to get one from Amazon. So you're gonna take this end of the cable and you're gonna plug it on the back of the printer, right over here, you see, on the right side, on the back. Just align this and connect it. Now, before connecting the USB cable to your computer, just set it aside. Go on Google and you're gonna type the name of the printer to download the driver, all right? One of the first links should be the official Brother website. That's where you need to go. I'm in Canada. That's why the Canadian website appears. If you're in another country, it should be another uh, Brother website. We're going to get down on this page and select oh, right over here, support and downloads. Click on this. Then go down. And you see on the right side, it's download and documents and find downloads and driver then select your windows version press ok then go down and select this one easy setup go down agree and the download should start go ahead and launch the file you just downloaded yes yes choose your language press next i accept the next here they'll tell you to type the model name in our case the specific one is l2640 d W and it's over there select it then the next select wired network or USB press next and now it's time to connect your printer so take the USB cable and plug it in your computer then over here uh, you may get this message just close it and press next press next over here select drivers and and software sorry press next and wait because what you have selected will get installed. Then when this is done, it should have took around three, four minutes. Press the next button, then press close. And this is about it. Now you're ready to print and to scan. So let me show you how quickly you can print. Let me close these. I have this file that I want to print. I'll press the print button here. Once your printer is selected on top and these settings are okay with you, for example, here, I don't want it to be in landscape, so I'll just choose it, choose portrait instead, press the print button. And usually in about 12 seconds, the print should be out. Here we go. And if you want to use the scanner, this printer has two different scanners. Let me show you how this is done. To scan, you need to go over here. We need to open the scan app that every Windows computer should have. If you do not have it, you simply need to go over here on the Microsoft Store. Type on the top here, scan, and you should get the scan app. If you wonder if you have the scan app, you need to go over here, type here to search and type scan. 
then select the scan app. Make sure that your brother printer is selected here under scanner. And uh, since this printer has two different scanners, I'll show you how to use both of them. So the first one is uh, located right over here. If we lift this, whoops, like that, it should stay in place. So take your paper, place it facing down with the top part of the paper on the left side. Then you're going to notice over here on this corner, on the top left corner, you'll need to align the paper and this corner. So just push it, take your finger and push the paper until it meets this corner of the scanner. Then close the lid. And on the computer, under source, press on it and select flatbed. Select which kind of file you would want to have. Let's say JPEG. Show more. And here you can decide if you want in color or black and white and also pick a resolution. 300 is the default one and I don't suggest you change it. Finally, here you can select where your file will get saved. So in my case, it's on desktop. I'll leave it there. If you want to change that, click here and modify it. Then press scan. At the end, you're going to get the confirmation that the scan was saved on desktop. Perfect. You can view it by click clicking the view button or simply click close. Now, let me show you how to use the other scanner. The other scanner is located on the top. And why would you use it instead is because you can input multiple pages. Here I have a document of four pages. First, align them facing up with the top part of your document on the left side. Simply glide them over here. And by the way, if you cannot glide them, it's maybe because these tabs are in this position. Push them away. All right, put them here. Extend this small flap so they don't fly away once they get scanned. And then on your PC, under source, instead of flatbed, you can select feeder and then press scan. By the way, if you want to combine every pages you have input into one PDF file, you'll need to select under file type here, click on it, PDF, and press scan. Now let's take a look. You don't need to touch anything at this point. The printer will take each pages one by one and scan them they will come out here and it will be scanned in the folder that you have selected.